On today's episode, we're going to look at how to clean your shoulders with a broomstick. I don't mean literally, I mean in terms of muscular imbalances and tensions that build up within your shoulder. So your shoulder needs a good amount of mobility, but because we don't use certain mo motions of the shoulder day to day, they get stiff and we end up getting a lot of knots and problems in our shoulder, and then we end up with pain. So before we get to that point, let's work on our mobility. So with a broomstick, what we're going to do is hold the broomstick in a snatch position for those of you who do weightlifting. So arms wide and we want our elbows extended. From this position we want to take the broomstick up and behind our head and that's a good amount of mobility that you, you should really have. So now from this position what you can do is take it further down. This broomstick is a bit shorter than I'd like so ideally I should be able to keep my shoulders, my elbows extended and take it all the way back. Now from this position it will open up my chest and it will pull in my trapezius muscles uh, and it will relieve some of the muscle tension that's going up in the, in the shoulder. So you can repeat that motion forward and back 10 times. So all the way from the front, keeping extension of the elbows all the way to the back. And you're going to need to pull your shoulder blades together in order to do that. Next one we can look at is what they call the towel stretching yoga. So if you bring one hand by, behind you as far as you can and the other hand you try and get them to meet. You can use a broomstick to help you and you can walk your hand down to try and meet the other hand and see how far you can go. So this is good for the tricep muscle and also the lats in terms of relieving tension from those. And we're going to try and keep our back straight and promote our hands to go down as far as they can. And obviously you want to do that on both sides. Once you've done, once you've done that stretch for your, for your lats, you can move on to one for your pecs. Now from this position, so a broomstick across my neck. I can put it a bit lower so it's on my trapezius muscle. I can bring this hand back using this lever. And I want to try and keep my shoulders parallel, but I want to pull the broomstick back as far as it can go. From that, I'm feeling a, a stretch on the front of the shoulder, so that's relieving any tightness that's building up in my pecs. So also a really important area to work on. So going as far back as I can with that. Brilliant. Next one you can, and you do that both sides, so that hand facing the broom, pulling back on it, trying to keep shoulders parallel so I'm not just twisting from the back, I'm actually stretching the pec. And just so the bar is across the neck, taking it a bit further, so it's down, so it's on the trapezius muscle. So there's no pressure on the back of the neck. Okay, once you've done that, you can do a bit of internal rotation work. So what you do is put the bar behind your back, have your elbow at 90 degrees, hold on to the broomstick, and then pull back. And this is again an area that loses a lot of mobility because we don't use it day to day. Once you've done internal rotation, you can do the same, keeping the arm extended, and you can work in extension. So what you want to do is you want to try and keep the arm not going out. You want to try and keep it in line with your shoulder. And ideally, it should be, be able to go up all the way to 90 degrees without you arching. So you can work on internal rotation, and you can also work on extension of the shoulder. This movement is something the shoulder very rarely gets. So it's, it's a very beneficial move to work on, on and it will also relieve any tension you're getting in the trapezius. Thanks for watching, that's 101 ways to clean your shoulders with a broomstick.